All right, now this is part two of our videos to get electric potential inside of a non-conducting sphere of uniform charge density. In the previous video, we determined electric field at any radius r from the center of the, the sphere to be qr over four pi epsilon naught r cubed. We're now gonna set up an integral in order to find the potential or the voltage there. Now again, reminding ourselves that electric field E is equal to the minus derivative of voltage with respect to displacement ds. So here we go. We're going to set this up then. The integral then of dv is equal to minus qr over 4 pi epsilon naught r cubed. And this will be an integral here. Okay. Now the integral is going to be from here of v at sub r and v at big r. And this is going to be little r and big r. So we're going from the center out. The vr is the, the outer surface voltage. And then the v sub r is the voltage of our little radius here. And again, little r is the radius of this sphere here. And big r for this sphere here, the outer surface there. OK, so let's integrate both sides. We'll do the result over here. Okay, actually, let's pull out all of our constants first. So let's rewrite this integral. So I have dv. I'm doing the integral of this for v sub little r to v capital R equals, let's pull all the constants out here, a minus q over 4 pi epsilon naught r cubed. Now we're doing the integral then from r to big R of r. And uh, we do need to put a dr here. And let me add my dr here also. So we're just doing the integral of r, okay, dr here. Okay, so let's do that integral. When we're done, this one of course is just v, and we're doing that under the definite integral from v sub little r to uh, v capital R equals, now again, I've got a minus q over 4 pi epsilon naught r cubed. And then we have a definite integral of r squared divided by 2 from little r to capital R. Now let's see what we can think about for this left side here. Okay, V sub R, that's the voltage at this location here. Okay, we know what that value is then. That's simply going to be Q over 4 pi epsilon naught big R. And then of course will be minus VR equals. Now we have a definite integral here in this constant outside. So we have minus Q over 4 pi epsilon naught R cubed. And then we have a definite integral here. We'll have R squared over 2 minus little R squared over 2. And our job then is to solve for this R, V sub R here. That's what we want. We want to find the voltage there. So of course, I'm going to take all of this to the other side, and then I'll probably factor this negative through, and then we can kind of simplify and figure out what our answer should be. So let me pull this down here. Okay, so then I have a negative V sub R equals, I, of course, I'm going to take this to the other side. 
and then I have a negative Q over 4 pi epsilon naught R. Okay, and I'm going to make this a plus then. And I'm going to factor my negative theta on this one here. Plus a Q over 4 pi epsilon naught R cubed. Okay, and I'm going to have this thing here. Now I'm going to have little r squared divided by 2, okay, minus big r squared, okay, divided by 2. Okay, so that's what we have right now. Now I'm going to pause the video, and then I'm going to do all the mathematics and come up with the final expression here. Okay, now I'm back. I'm paused the video to make it quicker to show you the rest of the result of this. So again, I have a, a negative VR equals minus Q over 4 pi epsilon naught R plus, and what it is, I have a Q, 4 pi epsilon naught R cubed, and then R squared over 2 minus R squared over, big R squared over 2. I'm going to factor a negative across from here, and that's going to make this one become positive, this one become negative. Now I see that there's a Q 4 pi epsilon naught R in both of these expressions, so I'm going to factor that out. And now I have Q over 4 pi epsilon naught R times bracket 1 minus 1 over R squared, because there's an R squared left here once that's factored out, times little R squared over 2 minus R squared over 2. And now I'm going to distribute my 1 over r squared through to these. And then I'm left with q over 4 pi epsilon naught r multiplied by 1 minus r squared over 2 r squared. So I'm just factoring that into there. And then I've got minus 1 half because this r squared will cancel that out there. And then I factor my negative into here to make this a negative and this a positive. So 1 half plus 1 gives me 3 halves, and then minus r squared over 2r squared. OK? So then that's my final result. v sub r equals q over 4 pi epsilon naught r times 3 halves minus r squared over 2r squared. Now in our final video, we're going to look at that equation and conceptualize the end result of that.